Hey guys, Tez here, and this is another morning commentary. I've just got out of bed, and it's not really that early, but I'm pretty tired. But this this is a Barrett game on resistance. It's got a it's got a, a good final score, and I thought I'd put it up. But I'm fast forward. Well, not fast forwarding, but I'm I'm yeah, I am fast forwarding. I was gonna say skipping, but I'm fast forwarding the first part because all I do is basically die. I think I get 10 deaths in this entire game, and I get 8 of them in the first minute and a half. So I go on, I go on a pretty big streak. My final score is something like 45 and 10, or something like that with the Barrett. And it's just really good gameplay. It's got a mixture of how snipers should be played, or at least how snipers are thought that they should be played, as well as a, a bit of quick scoping, which is how I play. And I, I just want to apologise for all the the little girly pirouettes that I do whilst jumping down stuff but I find that fun and if there's a guy at the bottom then it's always good to try and hit him but yeah there's another pirouette there and boom we run away but this game I was playing with a full party there was obviously me, Marty, somebody called Reviewed Smile there's, there's just in front of me there's a few other people and we were playing in a full party and playing in a full party is a lot more fun in this game than it has been for me in any other COD game and, and this is where I, I start playing at normal speed but playing in a party in this game helps a lot I don't think we lost a single game that night that we played and um, we we had a lot of fun so I think from now on I'm probably gonna play in a full party or I'll just play free for all solo but if, if I have spaces I'll invite some guys in and we'll we'll party up and we'll play as I get hit marker through the flowers but this I believe is the start of my my big long kill streak, and I, I kind of stick it, stick around here for a little bit. It's not really campy gameplay because I'm using a sniper, so I'm kind of just staying around here defending B flag for my team whilst we're two flags down. And I'm thinking that if I stay here, I'll be able to hold out and just protect whoever's trying to cap B. But we end up capping A, and then we we eventually go around and get get B as well. But right now I've got my specialist kill streak bonus set up on my Barrett. It's got hardline on, there's the, the first perk, then blind eye and assassin, so I'm basically a ghost, no one can see me. And with, I can't remember what is it, is it S Marksman? Yeah, with Marksman you can see their names, and it's really, really helpful when you're sniping at long distances. As you saw just then, there was three names up, and unfortunately I didn't get anyone until all three names had kind of disappeared and one guy was still there. But it definitely helps, and I, I was really glad that I managed to unlock my specialist point streak sorry I unlocked my specialist point streak when I did because it helped me pick up a few kills then but you'll see me throughout this game or this this game play I'll, I'll stay around B protecting B but then we start to lose C so I'll move around to C and I'll actually end up going over to A but I kind of stick in this half of the map for the majority of this this kill streak and it, it works out pretty well for me uh, I get quite a few kills and end up doing pretty well but I unfortunately I don't manage to save Charlie I don't know why I didn't hit that shot but yeah so th this game is is a lot of fun to play with a full party I'd recommend you, you get in a full party to play it it definitely reduces the amount of rage that you would have in it and makes it all the more f enjoyable and a lot more fun and I hate stealth bombers absolutely hate them I didn't I didn't know if that one was ours or theirs I think it was theirs but for some reason they always kill me regardless of where I am so I had to take cover behind a bridge I think but I'm just gonna be rotating backwards and forwards on this map I know this gameplay isn't really much to talk about and I should really think of a topic to, to actually talk out to, ow, to actually talk about whilst I'm commentating but I'm a little tired and I haven't really thought of anything so maybe I should do that. But just quickly, I've got to give a shout out to, to somebody that watches my videos. His name's Gary. And yeah, so hey Gary, how you doing? So there you go, that's a, that's a little shout out. I'm sorry it was late. I promised it to him like a week ago. But had all my videos already made and stuff. So I didn't really need to, to commentate anything. But there you go, I've got that done. And I wanted to ask you guys, do you think I should post up some live comms or more live comms because I know that I've been putting up live commentaries with the in the mind of video as well as the survival mode gameplay and one or two actual live comms I'm finding them quite fun to do and they're they're very easy to do as well it's, it's 
It's more time consuming to make a regular commentary, but I think regular commentaries come out a little bit more professional because obviously you're not doing it live, so it's kind of a bit rehearsed. I know that I haven't actually sat down and thought out any uh, any topics to talk about, but on a, on a regular commentary it kind of comes out a bit more rehearsed and a bit more professional, whereas a live com, it's just a natural what's happening at that moment and that's why I like them there as well as the fact that they are quite easy to do because I don't need to sit down after I've played the game to actually go over and commentate so do you, do you guys enjoy my live commentaries I'm not sure if I'm the, I'm the greatest live commentator but I'm definitely sure with practice I can get much better and I do enjoy doing them it's actually a lot of fun and all you need to do when you when you put the video together is just sync up the the audio to the to the actual gameplay so that it makes sense and I'm not, I'm not going like oh there's a guy there like five seconds after I've seen a guy run around a corner and shot him and ran away so yeah if you guys like my live commentaries just let me know so that I know I'm putting out the right stuff for you and that you enjoy and yeah so in this gameplay I might put the title as a, a, a Moab because I do get a Moab with my Barrett in a little bit and I think it's mostly Barrett kills. I might have got one or two MP9 kills, but I think it is just mostly Barrett. I do pick up an ACR in a minute and get two kills, but I think about 20 kills of this game was actually with my Barrett 50 cal. So it's my first, no, it's my second, but it's my first proper sniper in my lab because I got one with the AS50 and the PP90 or the P90 in free for all. But I didn't post it, firstly because I lost the audio file, which if I wasn't lazy I probably could have found and then put that up. But I got a lot of kills with the P90 and a few kills with the AS50 and I just thought it kind of wasn't a sniper Moab so there's no point in me putting it up. But right here is where I actually get the Moab. It's primarily with my Barrett. I think I got two, maybe three kills with the ACR and then again two or three with the, with the MP9. I think it's the MP9, but like I said, a lot of the kills came from the Barrett 50 cal itself. So I thought I'd put it up and, and just show you a sniping Moab because I don't think there's actually been that many been put up onto YouTube. So yeah, and that just scared me. There was a like a big gust of wind just went through my window. But that that's basically the e no, actually no, it's not the end of my streak. But that that's basically the end of the game. I get one or two more kills. I do get the final kill cam with what should have been quite a nice quick scope, but it wasn't. So that was a bit of a fail. But we we end up triple capping here. We were losing, but like I said, if you play with a the team, there's not really that big of a chance that you are going to go to lose. And I just want to say and point out there that reviewed smile. He runs around with the small because his his I'm guessing his favourite gun is like the small or the P90. And <laughs> what he did then was he was behind me, and we both saw that guy in the distance. And I, I quick scoped him and missed, and then I jump shotted and actually hit him. And what happened was Reviewed Smile was sitting behind me on the car behind me, and he was aiming down his sights at the guy where I'm standing now. And as I jumped up in the air, he shot his s'more, and the s'more actually hit me in the back and blew up the car that was in front of me and killed him. And I, I was just laughing my head off when that happened. And he was like, "What the fuck just happened?" And I was like, "I think you just died because I jumped up and." Blocks your rocket launcher. But yeah, we were laughing at that and it was pretty funny. But right about now, I think I died one more time. I can't really remember whereabouts it is. It's probably in this building next to me. Yeah, I get like a three kills and, and die. But right here is, is kind of the end of the gameplay. I think I go 45 and 10 and get the Moab. Get a, a really nice long kill streak. It must be about a 34 kill streak now or something. And I don't know how I didn't see that guy. And right here is where I pick off two final kills. Only one of them's in the final kill cam. Actually, no, that was an assist. But only one of them's in the final kill cam. But there you go, guys. That's the end of the game. Just going to wait for the scoreboard to pop up in a second. Otherwise, I'll probably tell you the score wrong. But that's my first proper sniping Moab. I do hope you enjoyed it. It was a mixture of, of proper sniping gameplay and actual quick scoping gameplay and for those that don't like quick scoping there's some proper sniping gameplay and for those who do there's some 
quick scoping gameplay. So I, I do hope you enjoyed it. And I went 48 and 10, so it's better than I expected. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.